Hey guys, so I finally learned a little bit about networking. I watched this other guy's tutorials, but um, I'm going to be expanding on it a lot more than he did. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do pretty much everything dealing with networking. We're going to learn how to uh, make a server and allow other people to connect to your server. And then we're going to be able to uh, have characters run around and um, do all that different stuff, transfer variables back and forth uh, from the server and such, um, and all that stuff. So as I learn all this, I'll be implementing it. So in the next few tutorials, we might be including a chat system and being able to spawn each character on the server and keep track of them and see them in real time running around. So yeah. First you're going to need a basic network code. This will start up the server, this will handle the connections and all that, so yeah. We can just uh, jump in here. Uh, we're, we're going to be needing this so we can convert uh, strings to ints. That's just what you need. Um, IP address, so what your IP is, your port, and this will be stuff that will be ha handled for the server. Then we're going to need a max connections, how many people we want in this specific game or on this specific server. Um, and then for all this, uh, we're just going to be using text fields. This will pretty much just uh, lay out a text field and input the IP address into the text field. So in the text field you can edit it to whatever IP you might be trying to join. So if you download this code and you want to set it up for your home network, uh, you could do that. And then people would know how to connect to your uh, computer. So we do that for both the IP address and the port. <coughs> the port is a little bit different we're, because we're going to be taking a int and a text field is a string field so we have to convert it to a string so we can edit it. And then we have to convert it back to a uh, int. So pretty much, yeah, that's how you can edit an int within a text field that's supposed to be for strings. And so yeah, it sets all that up. And these are just some things for the GUI layout and stuff. But yeah, then we'll have a button for connecting, which will <coughs> will take our IP address and our port and try connecting to them. And that's for if you're trying to connect to a server, by the way. Um, if you're starting a server, you'll want to use the uh, Start Server button. And this will just uh, start up the server, and then it's got to make sure that, you know, how many people can connect to it and what port it is. So, and then if you connect successfully connect to the server there's this function for connected so a lot of these are um, or this one is built in there are certain functions that apply to only servers so we'll be going over uh, a variety of different functions that we can use for the server so that's pretty much all that code you can go and throw it on your main camera and you would just edit your IP address and your port for where you want to host the server or where you're going to be joining. But we can do that all in code as well. So if you wanted to leave those blank, you could if you wanted to. But you can go in here and you can go and you can edit this field to whatever you want. So you can edit all these different numbers. You can go in here, you can edit those numbers if you want and if we start connect it'll say starting connect to server it'll say the IP and the uh, port number see how we can edit it and it'll transform or tr turn back into an int after we edit it so yeah that's pretty much the basics of how to set up a server and such and future tutorials will be going over yeah the different things like um, just keeping track of players in the server, being able to watch them move around and uh, interacting with them and such. But I'm still learning this stuff. This is the basics of what I've learned so far. So yeah, we'll just uh, expand upon this in the future if I can uh, 
learn some more stuff, so keep watching.